So we need to swap code reader like this to something more advanced. And that would be Think the Act 2. Same features like those big professional scan tools, but you use it on your phone and that's why the price is very low, just around $150. Okay, let me connect it. The first advanced feature I want to show you is full live data. You already know the mode 1 global OBD engine live data, but it isn't just your engine control module that stores live data. Every other control module has live data as well. Okay, it couldn't detect the VIN automatically. I have to input the VIN and for Fiat it should be ZFA, if I am not mistaken. Yeah, this one. Okay, so I was talking about full live data. Engine live data are useful, but there are live data in every control module. So what you can do is go to select any system in the vehicle. These Fiat control modules have kind of weird names. But your engine control module is the this injection, Magneti Marelli, this is engine control module. But you can go to all these other modules, let's say electric steering, read data stream. Let me just select all. And now I can see full live data from my, just from my power steering module. There are two main uses for full live data. Either when we are dealing with fault outside of engine, for example power steering, you can open live data for that module and get some more insights about what is going on. So it will help you with your diagnosing and fixing, but you can also use full live data to check used vehicle. There are a lot of interesting stuff you can look up in live data. For example, mileage records with full live data. For some cars, you will be able to find direct proof of odometer rollback. Now that is mostly for a newer vehicle. The older cars like this do not store mileage on different control modules, maybe just one or two. But in the newer vehicles you can find six, seven or more control modules that separately store mileage data. So you have to go in each module and see if it stores mileage. And if it do, compare it to what is on your dashboard. I came across multiple vehicles where I could find the real mileage in live data that was significantly higher than what was the odometer displaying. Okay, so if we were in the newer vehicle, what I would do, I would go into each of that module if I wanted to check used car and look for mileage stored data in every of them and then compare it to odometer. By the way, if you want to save money on buying a scanner, I have completely free PDF which you can download. This complete guide will explain all scanner's functions and also list out the best picks that are really greatest value for money, starting from $15. You can download it in link in description and that will also sign you up for my newsletter. So you will also receive future best scanners I will find.